Good morning and thank you for tuning into the Andrew Tate Show brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. Um, we've got a great show for you guys today. We're going to be covering the Dallas Cowboys owner Jerry Jones, uh, Ohio State head coach Ryan Day, a restaurant that is completely run by robots, and make sure that you stick around for later in the show when we'll be covering the oddities of the day. Um, before we start, I'd like to ask that you like and follow the show. Also, we get a number of questions from the viewers that come in during the show, so to ensure that your question gets read on the air, I ask that you use the tips and donation link with your question. Uh, the tips and donation link is streamelements.com slash gsmcsportsnetwork dot slash tip. This puts your question at the top of the list so that I can see it, and it also just really helps the show. Uh, good morning, Tate. How are you? Good morning, Miss Faith. How are you? Good. I'm doing well. I, 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 all right. I had already commented on the hair today because <laughs> you had it straight. Yeah. So <laughs> I like to straight. I, actually, you have a lot of different looks. They're all very cool. Thank you. Yeah, my yeah, hair I'm, is... I, mm -hmm. I was going to say, I'm more one tone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my hair is super like naturally curly so um i normally wear it like that because i don't really have to it. but i told uh tate before we started the show uh i had major bedhead this morning so i had to do something with it but it's kind of it's kind of cool because you have this like super curly hair that's really cool and stylish mm -hmm. and then like out of nowhere you can be like bam I got it straight today. What's going on? Yeah. It's like, go with your mood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Being a woman is very, you can be very versatile with a lot of things, which I like. <laughs> you can, I can't do that. I can't be like, you know what? I'm going to keep it short today. Well, you could, you know, just pop a wig on or something. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that will never, ever happen. <laughs> It's kind of like, you know, I don't have a problem if, if some guy out there wants to wear a wig, that is cool. But uh, I can't do the wig and, you know, the the dresses and the skirts that mm -hmm. the guys are wearing now, you will never catch me in that <laughs> outfit. <laughs> you and well, I, I will <laughs> say um, toupees have gotten a lot better since like the years have passed i see stuff on my tiktok of guys getting toupees and like i a lot of them i can't even tell that they're it's fake hair they're they're getting i i am quite blessed in this category where i don't have to wear it yeah i'm the weird guy that actually like my hair is getting a little long i'll cut it uh, like back to being short mm -hmm. but i've been blessed that i have a full head of hair yeah and don't have to do that I don't know about this whole, you know, toupee, spraying it on, tattooing it on. There's a saying uh, called, come on home. That's when your hairline starts going way back here. You just got to come on home and just shave it. <laughs> For all you guys that are holding on, like... You got the you got the reef around your head and everything else. <laughs> Just come on home. It, it, you're gonna be better off. <laughs> God. <laughs> All righty. <Sorry>. Well, <laughs> <laughs> this is a public service announcement. <laughs> Just come on home. <laughs> okay. Well, with that. <laughs> Let's Sorry, baby. In. I know you weren't prepared for that. <laughs> dive into our first topic of the day. Uh, we're going to be discussing the Dallas Cowboys owner, Jerry Jones. Um, Jerry Jones has stated that he is all in for the 2024 season. Um, the question is, are the Dallas Cowboys close to reaching the Super Bowl? They beat a Detroit Lions team a month ago that should have been preparing for the Super Bowl this week. Instead, the Lions blew a 17-point halftime lead in the 49ers in the NFC Championship game on Sunday. Uh, the Cowboys, on the other hand, were blown out by 32 points in Week 5 at San Francisco. Um, for the third consecutive offseason, the Cowboys are at the Senior Bowl this week after suffering an early playoff exit that followed a 12-win season. 
Um, as you might expect, Cowboys owner and general manager Jerry Jones didn't think his team is far off. That's why he ultimately decided to bring back coach Mike McCarthy for a fourth season. Um, Jones commented, I believe this team is very close and capable of achieving our ultimate goals with Mike McCarthy as our head coach. My question for you is... Do you think it's a good idea to bring Mike McCarthy back for a fifth season? Because I know you're a big Dallas Cowboys fan. I am a huge Dallas Cowboy fan, uh, but I am not a delusional Dallas Cowboy fan. I've been a fan since the 70s. Mm -hmm. Uh, So, yes, I go I go way back and I look at the Cowboys and Jerry Jones very differently where I know a lot of the media really attacks Jerry Jones and bashes Jerry Jones. I look at it as not as a Cowboy fan, but the fact is Jerry Jones and the Dallas Cowboy organization is one of the best organizations in the NFL, not as a fan. I know a lot of people are probably jumping out of their seat right now. (laughs) But when you look at the Dallas Cowboys and you say over the last 20 years, The Cowboys and the 49ers have been consistently the best drafter of drafters of talent in the NFL, Mm -hmm. where consistently they find the Dak Prescott's, the Tony Romo's, uh, the Ezekiel Elliott, the CeeDee Lambs, uh, the Micah Parsons. They find quality players in the draft. They tend to build more through the draft than most teams, meaning they are they are quite a successful uh organization then you look at the cowboys and their performance three the last three years 12 win season 12 win season 12 win season if you go back the last few decades dallas has consistently been that that regular season team that performs well but they always crash in the playoffs. They have Mm -hmm. been consistently crashing in the playoffs. I was actually talking to a buddy of mine last night who's been a Dallas Cowboy fan for longer than I have been a Dallas Cowboy fan. And he was like, we were talking about the fact that Dallas should be, could compete with everyone that made it to the playoffs. Dallas had beat Detroit. I thought Dallas would have been a much a much better team against the 49ers this this year and I thought the Dallas Cowboys could have made it to the Super Bowl. And he was like, "No, I don't want them in the Super Bowl. <laughs> All they're going to do is break my heart. If they go to the Super Bowl, I'll get my I'll get my uh, you know, I'll get all hyped up and have my hopes all high just to get them dashed." And that's the way a lot of Dallas Cowboy fans feel uh, mm-hmm. nowadays, that they're Wiley Coyote and they're waiting on that anvil. Like, I got the road runner, I got him by his neck, anvil hits him in the head, and it's over. And that's what has happened as a Dallas Cowboy fan. Now, I look at what Jerry Jones has said here, and he says all or nothing. Mm-hmm. And this is what made me shake my head. And I'm a big Jerry Jones fan. I love what, you know, I've I've gone to a number of Cowboys games. I feel like I've been to games all over the country. And I feel like no one takes care of their fans better than the Dallas Cowboys. But what, why people attack Jerry Jones is this statement right here. We're all in for next year. Mm-hmm. Newsflash. We were all in this year. <laughs> yeah. Newsflash. We were all in the year before that and the year before that and mm-hmm. the year before that. I don't think I would like to have seen Jerry hold that more to the chest. It's understood that the Dallas Cowboys are all in. Mm-hmm. But when you make statements like this, when the media is looking for this, right before the Super Bowl, where it's like, hey, you could you could have been there, but your team blew it to say, hey, we're all in this uh, for this next year. Well, this year's not over. 
keep that to yourself. You don't have to get that because you're just looking for fodder, cannon fodder. Just you I mean you you're there's no reason to make these types of statements. Now, your question that you asked me is should Mike McCarthy have been allowed to come back? And the answer is yes. Now I'm gonna copy, I'm gonna play this two sides. Number one, if you're if you're truly all in and you're saying this is the last year, if Jerry Jones really means this is next year is the last year, we're going all in, we're sticking with McCarthy, we're sticking with Dak Prescott, and we're all in, and he means it, then yes, he should have stuck with him. Because of the fact that when I think of a team saying all in, Dak Prescott's contract is up. Are you going to pay Dak $50 million a year to just go out in the first round year after year? I'm a Dak Prescott fan. But what's been what's been happening is doing the same thing over and over and hoping for a different outcome. That's what the Cowboys have been doing. Mm -hmm. Also, a cliche of insanity. And that's what it's like to be a Dallas Cowboy fan is doing the same thing over and over again, hoping for a different outcome, only to get clubbed over the head with a big blowout by the Packers and watching Detroit, who should be in the Super Bowl, a team that we just beat. Yeah. Um, and I say we, like I play for the Dallas Cowboys. I, I barely can drive to the stadium, let alone play for them. <laughs> um, so, no, I don't think... I. I am like other other people like Jerry Jones needs to go. No, he doesn't. The Cowboys organization has consistently brought in top quality talent who consistently wins and consistently consistently perform incredibly well. Dallas Cowboys is among the top teams that have more pro bowlers in the pro bowl year after year after year. That's a good organization who knows how to draft and develop talent. Mm -hmm. What people don't like about the Cowboys is the fact that you're making statements like this. Now, if the Cowboys would, now you asked me about Mike McCarthy, if the Cowboys were gonna go out on a limb and say, you know what, we're gonna change our organization up and we're gonna go after Harbaugh or someone like that, a younger guy with fresh ideals, something like that, yes. Or if you're all in, if the Cowboys don't make it to the Super Bowl this year, McCarthy's gone. We're not going to pay Dak. Uh, you know, we're going to we're going to start rebuilding and and seeing maybe what Trey Lance looks like, or we're going to draft a quarterback and start developing for the future as we start transitioning from Jerry Jones to his son. If he if he's serious about we're all in, then go all in and say, you know, this is what we're doing. He's not going to do that because if you look at this team and they do another 12 win season, they win the division or win the, or make the wild card. And there's big high hopes that this is the year the Cowboys are going to make the Super Bowl. And then they go in there and they get clubbed, like they get clubbed and tossed aside again. Are you going to keep, are you going to rinse and repeat again and again and mm -hmm. again? That's the question that I ask. I would like to see Jerry, if, if, if there's anything to help the Cowboys, and I love seeing Jerry as a fan, not make these comments, stop doing the radio show because there's so much cannon fodder that is created by him, which puts more pressure. There, there's a giant spotlight on, on that star of the Dallas Cowboys. And I think it's not the organization that's been hurting them, but that pressure. You go in there, you go in there tight. When you play Green Bay, Green Bay came out, smacked you in the mouth, got off to a lead, they got tight. Unlike the 49ers, where Detroit came in, smacked them in the mouth, they were able to circle the wagons and get things back together and then have a massive comeback. The Cowboys, that's the big difference between the 49ers and the Cowboys. 
composure. The 49ers have consistently showed composure so that they can keep going and win that game and propel them to the Super Bowl, where the Dallas Cowboys, as talented as they can get, when things get tough, they get tight. And instead, they got blown out. And they're at the Senior Bowl looking at doing what they do best, bringing in top quality talent for another year that most likely could be disappointing. Mm. So you think composure has uh, something to do with why they oh, do yeah. so well in the playoffs then? Absolutely. It's it's, uh, it's pressure. They have all the talent. They got a great defense. They've known to have a, a, a pretty decent offensive line. Great receivers. Uh, the running game has been a little sh- it was shaky this year. Um, but Dallas has it all. Tight end, coaching, player development great amazing facilities but when the pressure gets on them that's where things have changed there's so much pressure because everyone knows the biggest brand in all of sports it's not the yankees it's not new england it's not manchester united it's the dallas cowboys and that comes with a bright light and a bright light burns you Mm -hmm. and that's what again cowboys have been burnt more than any team of the last 20 years. Well, do you think it's going to be the same as it was this past year then, where they're going to do well for those 12 games and then not do well in the playoffs? <laughs> or do you think that maybe since, I guess, Jerry Jones says they're all in this year, that they may make it to the Super Bowl next year? Okay, that's a great question. In previous years, I thought the Dallas Cowboys were a team that could contend in the playoffs, but they would need a lot of help to get to the Super Bowl. Uh, Last year, year before last, I did not think the Cowboys were going to go to the Super Bowl. But this year, this year, when you looked at the Cowboys, I was like, okay, they are going to have home field advantage except for the NFC Championship game. They got a solid defense, an unbelievable offense, solid coaching. Mike McCarthy may have a few little issues with time management, thing of that nature, but the Cowboys are solid. The only way I see the Cowboys not making the Super Bowl is a Herculean effort by the 49ers, or they get into a game that they should win and they get tight. And exactly what happened. So next year, do I think the Cowboys have a shot at making the Super Bowl? Absolutely. But next year, Green Bay's not going to be this upstart team. Green Bay's going to be better. Detroit's going to be better. Mm -hmm. The 49ers are loaded. The The competition next year is going to be tougher, not easier. And so... They didn't make it this year. It's going to it's gonna be interesting to see what happens next year. And you do not know. You can say you're all in, but an injury here, an injury there, an NFL season is one of those things. I would like to just say to see Jerry just kind of hold back on some of these. We're all in. We need Dak to do this or that. If you be more like some of the, like, the Patriots owner or some of the other owners where I'm for Jerry and and the Jones family handling the back office and making the draft picks and making the decisions, but maybe turn that spotlight down a little bit by just being quiet a little bit more. Yeah, I definitely think that next year will be uh, a lot more tougher and more competitive because a lot of these teams that you know, weren't very good or are coming up and doing a oh, lot better. Because Green Bay and Detroit are going to, yeah. Green Bay and Detroit are going to be a handful. Mm-hmm. Philadelphia, who started out with uh, with 10 wins to start the season, if they get a few things right, Philadelphia is going to be tough to deal with. San Francisco is San Francisco. Uh, those are all real teams. Mm-hmm. it's going to be interesting to see. It, there's no guarantee. That's why I just say, why? Because even the fact that we're talking about this, mm-hmm. Jerry Jones says he's all in. 
this is before the Super Bowl is in a week and a week and a half, let's just say. There's no reason to make that convert to have that conversation because now Dak, when you see him at the Super Bowl, Jerry Jones says he's all in. Uh, does that mean if you guys don't make it this year, you're not going to be a cowboy? It starts playing in people's head. Mm -hmm. And by maybe not creating that undue pressure, you see Mike McCarthy. Jerry Jones said, we're all in. You're on your last year of your contract. You're a lame duck coach. Are you, you're, you're on the hot seat. Do you feel like you're on the hot seat? Yeah. It, it plays into the psyche of a team. And that's where I think that's where Jerry hurts the Cowboys most. Everything else, I think he's stellar. It's just, he likes to talk. He, he likes to be bigger than life and, and make these broad statements or these, these huge statements that then the players have to cash that check that he's written. And it's nothing, nothing has shown that they have that ability in the playoff to say, all right, the rubber meets the road. We're doing this. Wow. <laughs> such, such a, it's, this is such a somber conversation. Yeah. <laughs> well, speaking of coaches in the hot seat, um, after we take a quick break, we're going to be talking about Ryan Day, who also seems to be in the hot seat. So uh, we're going to take a short break. When we come back, we'll discuss that. <laughs> 